What's going on, y'all? It's Brother D coming at y'all with another video. And uh, I want to make a quick video. I really like what Jalen Rose said. That, you know, talking about LeBron James. And, you know, people are saying, you know, how he quit. People continually, continually say that LeBron James is better than Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. Yet, have you ever seen, I'm going to ask y'all a question straight up. Have you ever seen Michael Jordan want to come out of a playoff game? Have you ever seen Kobe Bryant want to come out of a playoff game? Hell, have you ever seen Magic come out of a game? With a bad hamstring, and he was, he was, he couldn't even barely run, but they had to get him out the game. What about Isaiah Thomas? Isaiah Thomas had a hurt ankle. He played game seven. Why Brian, why Brian quit? Look what LeBron did, did the other night. Five minutes left to go in the game against Phoenix. He walked to the locker room. He quit. He continuously, continually quits. But yet, everybody says he's better than Mike and Kobe. People can say whatever they want to say about Kobe Bryant. I mean, people can say whatever they want to say about, yeah, they can say whatever they want to say about Kobe. They can say whatever they say about Michael. People always say they were assholes, right? Let me ask you a question. In the real world, do nice people win in this world? It's just something to think about. They were assholes, but they were killers. They were killers. They didn't quit. You think you think you think Mike would have got six championships? You think Mike would be a billionaire? You think Michael Jordan would be a great businessman, a six-time NBA champion, one of the greatest players, the greatest player of all time. And he and that he would have done all of that by being nice. Look at Kobe Bryant. Kobe, before he died, for at his death, he had four hundred million, won five chips, one of the greatest players in NBA history. Do you think he would have helped the Lakers win five championships being nice? Being nice in this world don't get you nowhere, especially with the ladies. These women don't like nice guys. They want assholes. So why is it that Jordan is an asshole? But that's how he won. That's how Kobe won. Kobe, and let me tell y'all something. Kobe Bryant's name is named after a snake. <laughs> is a snake a nice animal? That's something to think about. LeBron don't have that killer instinct in him. He don't have it. I don't think he's better than Magic, to be honest with you. You ever seen Magic give up? You see Magic want to come out even though, you know, he was HIV positive and 91 diagnosed. But before then, have you ever seen him? He came back to the game HIV positive. Did he give up? Magic was playing the Olympics and everything. At that time, HIV was an epidemic. Did you see Magic give up? Did you see him give up? He still played. He faced all types of segregation. Because a lot of players did not want to play with Magic Johnson. Did you see him quit? LeBron James quit. He quit. He quit. The last three minutes of that game, he didn't play no defense. He he didn't even get up. It's it's go look on YouTube. Go look on YouTube. He literally quit. Quit. Y'all keep screaming about him being a goat. Come on, man. The proof is in the pudding. Look what he did. Game four, Golden State Warriors. Remember that. He 
He checked out. 3-0. He didn't try. He quit. Dallas, game four. He quit. Boston, game six, 2010. Eastern Conference semifinals against the Celtics. He quit. Braun quits. But he's the face of the NBA, a quitter? And I don't want to hear the excuse, I ain't got no help. I don't want to hear that. Kobe won with less and got five chips. I don't want to hear excuses. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear that age stuff. I don't want to hear it. Hell, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was 38 years old and won finals MVP. So don't give me, I don't want to hear that age stuff. Kareem won two championships, what, 40 and 41? 87, 88? Tom Brady, Tampa, just won the Super Bowl, a starting quarterback at 43 years old. I don't want to hear that age excuse. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear excuses. He quits. Yet everybody compares him to Michael and Kobe. Come on, man. You think Kobe would have quit like that? You left your team out there. You left your team out there like that. You quit, man. He quit. He quit on the Lakers. Isaiah Thomas had that injury. Go look it up. Isaiah Thomas had a what had a what a sprained ankle. He was hopping down the court game seven, but he didn't quit. What element did, did um, LeBron have in that game to come out? He quit. But this is the guy that's great. This is the guy that's better than Mike and Kobe. Mike and Kobe, game six. He did not want to have. As soon as Anthony Davis got hurt, he gave up. I don't want to hear no excuses. I don't want to hear excuses, man. I don't want to hear it, man. Kobe never quit. Michael never quit. Magic never quit. Isaiah Thomas never Never quit. Legends never quit. Larry Bird had a uh, had a what a bad a bad back. Did you see him quit? Never quit. He quit. He quit on the Lakers. Ain't no other way to put it. And you quit on your team, but he everybody want want to hear a bunch of excuses, man. Kobe, LeBron just don't have that killer instinct. He don't have that killer instinct. LeBron was carried all those years. Think about it. Think about it. The first finals he won, okay, that was a blowout. But if Ray Allen didn't hit that shot, if Kyrie Irving didn't hit that shot, he would have only two rings. And the only reason the Lakers got by last year was because they had like a four or five month break. I think like a four month break before they went to the bubble in Orlando and they didn't have to travel or nothing like that. They played all their games in Orlando, Florida. So that really helped the Lakers out. So I just don't understand what is what is why do y'all keep calling him the GOAT? He didn't went on three teams, he didn't been on three teams. Everywhere he goes, he quit. He quit on Cleveland the first time. They won 60 games two years in a row. What'd he do? He quit. Quit. Then when he lost in five games to San Antonio, what do you think he did on the Miami Heat? He quit on them. When he got swept by the Warriors, he quit. LeBron James is a quitter. And you can say whatever you want to say. I want all the smoke, and I don't care. I'm going to tell you all the truth. Have you ever seen Mike quit? Have you ever seen Mike 35 years old? Same, almost the same age as him. He was tired in game six in 98. 98 finals game six. Tired.
right. Pippen had a bad back. Won't nobody really hit no shots. Might hit 45 points. Huh? Against in Salt Lake City. Did he quit? He seen Scotty with that bad back. Did you see Mike quit? Look at look at Magic Johnson. 1980 NBA Finals. Game five. The, the Lakers lost to the Sixers. Kareem messed his ankle up. He was out for game six. Did Magic Johnson quit? Did Magic Johnson quit? Did he quit? As a rookie, he won the championship as a rookie. Did you see him quit? He told Paul West, said, you know what? Start me at center. 42 points. Almost a triple-double. And won a championship in Philadelphia. Did you see Magic Johnson quit? No, oh, no, no. You never quit. You never quit. I don't want to hear them excuses, man. I don't want to hear it. He quit on the Lakers. Then game six. You walk off the floor and don't go and go in the locker room? You couldn't go out there and shake their hands? You ain't got no class? But that's the GOAT. GOATs don't do that. GOATs don't quit. He quit. He were, he's a quitter. But this is the greatest player in NBA history. He's better than Michael Jordan. He's better than, than, than LeBron and Kobe Bryant. Come on, get out of here. Kobe, Mike were killers. Magic was the greatest floor leader in NBA history. Isaiah Thomas was a great player, but nobody wanted to give him credit. He had a, a bad ankle and scored 25 points in the third quarter off a of, of what? Off a of, of bad ankle? 25 points. Did you see him quit? It hurt to watch me see LeBron quit like that, man. He quit. But y'all screaming, he better than Mike and Kobe. Get out of here. Better than magic. Come on, man. Quit. He quit. Quit on defense. Last five minutes. Every time, every time he missed a shot, he was crying it to the referee. He won't even down the court. And that's how Jay Crowder hit that wide open three-pointer. Go look it up. So y'all think I'm just a hater. I'm just telling the truth. He quit. He quit. There's no other way to put it. He quit. But this guy is the GOAT. I don't want to hear excuses. Yes, yes, Dennis Schroeder struggled. He's not getting that $100 million contract. Scored zero points. Power, what? Mark Casal, zero. I understand that. But if you're the great as you say you is, you're supposed to elevate the team. He didn't do that. He quit. So he better than Mike and Kobe. I ain't going to be on this all day. Ain't no way in hell he better than Kobe and Mike. Because Mike and them were killers. He had that killer instinct. You come out game six passing the ball. Why you just didn't go take over? Take over, Brian. The floor was yours. Come on, man. You quit. Kobe, my, my bad. LeBron quit. He quit. As soon as he seen AD, he checked out. As soon as he seen AD hurt, pulling his groin, he was hurt. And that was a dumb idea by the Lakers anyway to play him with a groin. Come on, man. That's a bad look, man. You quit. He quit game six. Then they, you know, they made a little run in the end. But that last five minutes of the game, he quit. He quit. Come on, man. Brian got to do better than that, man. He ain't better than Kobe and Mike. And I'm going to keep saying it. But that's all I got. Y'all be easy.